Hello everybody, welcome to another reading. Today we are going to get some messages for Sagittarius. This is for all Sagittarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars. If you have Sagittarius prominent in your chart, there are probably messages for you in this reading. This is also a timeless video, so whenever you happen to come across this reading is when you are meant to find these messages. Oops, almost dropped that. Um, today we're going to be using the Witch's Tarot, but before we jump into that, I have a few quick messages. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, the links to all of that will be listed in the description box below. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of the information to personal readings along with my email are also going to be listed in the description box below. If you are a new subscriber, returning subscriber, thank you so very much for tuning in. Thank you so very much for following. This collective is absolutely amazing and it is growing bigger and bigger every day. I am completely blown away um, by the uh, wonderful responses and I'm so very happy very thankful, I can't talk, um, that I can help in any ways that I can. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you. Um, if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, then welcome. I really hope that you find the messages that you are looking for. I just saw 111. I've seen that in every single video so far this week. So we've got some ascension, probably symptoms. I don't know about you. Um, anyway, yeah, I uh, hope that you're doing well, Sagittarius. I am doing really well. Um, today, we're going to, I just saw the Seven of Swords. No. No. We're going to just jump right into here. We're going to shuffle a few times. We're going to hope that Seven of Swords just stays in the deck and he does not come out because we don't want to see the Seven of Swords character anymore. I don't know if the Seven of Swords came out for you last week, um, but um, it came out for like almost every sign last week. And it's only been, I think, like one, maybe two signs this week. Um... And so that's nice. A lot of us are getting rid of that nasty energy. Let's do one more. The moon is cancer. Something being hidden. About to be revealed. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out, Sagittarius. Let's find out. Queen of Swords. Speaking truths. Okay. For Sagittarius, please. Messages for Sagittarius, please. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. So there you are, Sagittarius, sitting pretty. Look at that. Nice. In your element, in your energy, just like, yeah. Feeling good, looking good, uh, needing to balance your money a little bit, um, possibly having some choices. Um, maybe you're, you're spending a little more than you're bringing in. Maybe there's some changes at work. Maybe you need to balance your work life. I don't know. Doing a little bit of financial juggling here. What else? Page of Cups. Are you financially juggling because you started a new relationship? One more. One more, please, for Sagittarius. Two more, please, I guess. Thank you. The King of oh, the King of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Okay, we're gonna need to get clarification on this. Um, I'm kind of feeling a little bit like there's some rejection though, because I'm like this Queen. It's almost like she's like. And I'm noticing the fact that there's like nothing behind her other than the flames. Um, it's like she's like in her power. And in a way, like I feel like she's trying to get the attention of this king, but this king is just staring at the pinnacle. He's not paying any attention to her. You know, it's like I feel like it like this. Like her energy, she's like leaning into him. She's like, you know, but she's like trying to act like she's not 
you know the only thing that's like there's nothing really behind her so all you can really see is just like her and he's like still just like not paying any attention to her and i think it's like hurting her feelings it could be hurting his feelings now like you know the his and hers don't be hung up it works apply it how it resonates okay um it's just energies you could be dealing with an earth sign you could be dealing with another fire sign. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign. It does feel like there is a, there could be some emotional immaturity here. There could also be a third party situation. This king of pentacles could be focusing on another person or another connection. <clears throat> Maybe he's focusing on his heartbreak from another connection. I just don't feel like the King of Pentacles is paying attention to this Queen of Wands. But we'll see. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Nine of Cups, yep. She's not getting her wish fulfillment. I don't know if this is you or if this is somebody else, but I'm just going to tell it like a story. Okay, because that's how I'm feeling it. There's this Queen of Wands here, right? And she's, like, interested in this King of Pentacles. Um, she, like, her wish is to, like, be with him. But for whatever reason, it's, like, not happening. Um, there's, like, been, like, a juggling act, possibly. There could have been, like, con like it attempts at getting attention. Maybe by using money. Maybe by dates or bribery of some kind. Gifts, maybe. Um, messages were attempted, like, slight, possible, feeling out the water, but I feel like it was immature. It didn't come, like, strong enough. It just wasn't mature enough. Or whoever the message was for wasn't mature enough to receive it. This king is not interested. He's focusing on heartbreak. Either he's hurt somebody or he's hurting. But he's not paying attention to this queen of wands. And because of that, she's not getting her wish fulfillment. So why is the two of pentacles here? The four of swords. Taking a rest. After juggling. This could have been really draining. On this queen why is the page of cups here the knight of cups so the page became the knight why is the knight of cups here i feel like it was rejected we have the ace of wands and the wheel of the year and the freaking queen of cups There's a hell of a story here, man. Okay, so for some of you, this is... Okay, so for some of you, this person, your interest... Okay, I don't even know where to start here. <clears throat> Let's just continue with the story, okay? So this Queen of Wands, whoever that is, I don't know who that is. You know who that is. This Queen of Wands is interested in this king of pentacles but i think this king of pentacles um is i he could be married um or in some sort of a, another committed uh relationship i'm feeling it as, as a relationship um it's also possible that he could be going through a separation from a committed relationship it's also possible that this king of wands and this queen of wands have hooked up and created this three of sword situation for this king of pentacles because of the fact that there was because we have a we have the queen of pentacles uh sorry we have the queen of cups showing up here um it's like it's like the ace of wands the wheel of gear and then and then the queen of cups you know like the three of pentacles you guys could have worked together or worked on a project together or been friends it could have been a friend group thing it's 
Um, okay. There are so many different messages coming through here. It's really hard to like figure out uh, which which one is which because I feel like it's going to be different for everybody. I'm really not feeling this in a career sort of a way, to be honest with you. It could be a friend. I really feel like that it's a, I feel, I feel I'm feeling this as a third party thing. I really am. I think this Queen of Wands and this King of Pentacles were in some sort of a third party thing. I think that it could have been initiated by the Queen of Wands. Whether that's male or female, it doesn't really matter. Whether that's you or not, I don't really think that matters. Um, the Queen of Wands, I feel like, was the one that was initiating it. Um, or is still interested. Is still trying to pursue it. Whatever, it could have been something that happened in the past. Because I feel like this queen is trying to come in here to this king, like it's it maybe like she maybe like she was starting at first to just like maybe like just like being friends or like just like slow communication, and then like now she's like trying to show up as like this knight of cups, and this king of pentacles is like not interested, not looking, um, and I'm noticing like the clouds are getting dark like behind this this knight here. Why is the king of pentacles and the three of swords here? The Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? He could be focused on his money. Ace of Swords. So there's a new beginning. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Four of Cups reversed. Okay. So there, it looks to me like he could be healing. He could be focused on this uh, Three of Swords situation right now, but it feels to me like it's slow moving because the Knight is the slowest of the Knights. But maybe this um, message that this queen is bringing in is finally going to like reach his ears or something. It's going to, it's really slow moving, but I feel like there could be like some sort of a divine um, epiphany or like an idea, um, you know, that's kind of like um, breaking out the stagnancy. It's also very possible too that this knight, that this king could just decide to walk away completely from the situation, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like that too because the four of cups in the reverse can go either way um the four of cups talks about boredom right it's like like especially in this card like this late this chick's trying to get this person's attention and she's like you know um getting bored you know and it's not like she's unattractive it's not like she doesn't have much to offer she's a freaking mermaid you know what i mean and he's just like i'm not interested like i don't even care that there's a mermaid sitting next to me i'm just looking at these cups right here like i'm focused on these cups and she's like this is boring really boring there could be an age difference between you guys too but in the reverse it's kind of like you know it's either that like he he stops staring at the cups and he starts looking at the mermaid or she just gets enough of it and she just decides to swim off so why is the four of cups here let's figure it out the five of swords in the reverse i think that the king might just decide to the mermaid might just decide to swim off this situation could have caused a lot of fighting there could be other people involved um, yeah, there could, they, they, there could be a need to defend. Maybe he feels like a need to defend himself or defend something, defend an idea. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's move on. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, if this resonates with you and, um, you know, what your situation is, because I feel a lot of different situations here. Um, I really do feel it as, a, like, mainly like a third party, though. Um, okay, let's move on. So we've got your animal spirit. Um, you have two. You had two of them. You're, like, the only one that got two. Um, and I don't know how that happened, but you got two. Um, so your first one is wolf. Pathfinder. It says, release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a lot that endures. Black Bear, Guardian. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. You're going to come out of this situation okay. I don't know what's going to happen in this situation. I don't really 
no, I don't really think it's decided. It's I think it could still be up in the air. You know, free will is a thing. Um, but whatever it is, you're gonna you're gonna be okay. Like you're gonna make it through this. And everything that happens to us is a lesson. So take the lesson from it and learn from it, and then just leave the rest. You know. All right. So we do have some um, channeled love messages here. This is um, these are this is my own personal deck. Um, they are channeled love messages. Um, they're not channeled love messages from your person. They're just channeled love messages. I don't know who your person is, so I can't give you messages for your specific person. Also, this is a general reading. It is not a personal reading. Um, so um, I can't give you, you know, per personalized messages in a general reading. Um, but yeah, um, I when I was doing the pre-shuffle, it was with the intention of just getting love messages for you. So if they resonate for you as being messages from your person, then cool, you know, take it like that. If they don't, then leave them. If you're not here for love, um, then, you know, just wait. Uh, it, just be a little bit patient. We have more messages after this. Um, but yeah, anyway. All right. So we have, I'm scared to tell you how I really feel. I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. Um, that was really weird. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but there was just like a knocking. I don't know. Uh, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I think... Okay. This is definitely like, this has to be a third party situation. I swear they mean nothing to me. Okay, the other one was, I'm sorry, I know I hurt you. I swear they mean nothing to me. They mean nothing to me. It, it could be... You know, as in, like, just one person. It doesn't have to be multiple. Do you think of me, too? You guys could be in a separation right now. Please be mine forever. Can we please talk? And spend time with friends and family. All right. Uh, Lightworker, Oracles, you have soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Protector, or sorry, protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. I wonder if this queen, king of um, pentacles hurt the queen of wands. Although I'm really feeling the queen of wands as being more of a pursuer. We have an answer. The answer is no. Wait, postpone, pause, and say no. Okay, next we have the interrupting peace ones. They do have swear words on them, but I will not be saying them. Um, let's just be adults about it. We have um, zero fox given and you're cute as hell. I feel like this is the queen of one energy. It's like the queen of one doesn't care that this king of pentacles has been hurt or is hurting or has hurt somebody else. Like, she, she just wants the King of Pentacles. And I don't feel like he's interested. I think that it's possible that she it got him at one point in time, and now he's like, no. You know. Apply it how it resonates. Apply it how it resonates. Don't get hung up on the kings and the queens. Don't get hung up on signs. Okay? All right. Peace. Peace. It starts with releasing the bullshit. Hmm. Sure does, doesn't it? Visualize world peace. Visualize world peace. Busy transcending bullshit. Pick one thing beyond your control and let it go. Just like that. Be here now. Come on, inner peace. I don't have all day. Make me one with everything. He was frank with me. 
I think this King of Pentacles told this Queen of Wands. I don't think she cares. One word, meditate. Tame the shit show by finding calm in the chaos. Y'all had to have heard that, right? I wonder if he's like, I wonder if that's honest. I don't know. I have neighbors. Maybe it's the neighbors. Anyway, starseed messages. So the first one we have is starseed. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving lights. So if you're wondering if you're a starseed, there's your confirmation. We have courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to get some angel mess um, angel numbers, and then some channeled messages from the universe. Again, these are channeled messages that I made myself. Um, they I'm going to put them into a deck eventually. The love messages used to be like this too. Um, but yeah. Okay. So the first one we have is doing nothing is doing something. Relax. like um, no response is a response doing nothing is doing something you go you <clears throat> Atlantis oh oh you re may resonate with being an Atlantean cool maybe you're just like me and you're really fascinated with it um, or you really like the Disney movie I like the Disney movie too keep your word Hmm. Somebody could have lied. I mean, obviously, there was a third-party situation. That's deceitful. You are so powerful. You are so powerful. Okay. And then your angel numbers, or just numbers, you have 777. So 7 could be a life path number. You could be born on the 7th of the month. July could be significant for you as well. We also have 111. Pardon me. Um, that to me is the heart chakra with the hiccups. You could be going through an awakening right now. You could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities too. <clears throat> and then we have 3131. All right, Sagittarius, those are all the messages that I have for you. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope that these messages helped you and they resonated with you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I do post weekly. We do fire signs on Wednesdays and then um, all signs on Fridays. So you don't want to miss out on any of those fun videos. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for even more content. I do post daily on Instagram um, and I do mini readings and things like that over there. Um, I'm also an artist and a photographer. So if you're interested in any art and photography pictures and fun stuff like that, all that's over there as well. Um, anyway, I hope that you have a wonderful day or night or whenever it is that you were tuning into this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.